I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on application of percent. We'll talk about calculating price after discount for different kinds of items. For easy calculations, we have taken numbers which can be worked without calculator also. However, you can always use calculator to do your calculations. Now, we are given three items here with percent discount on their selling price. Always this discount is given on selling price and then once the discount has been deducted we get the final price which you pay to buy the material. The very first one is 25% of shirt costing $52. It means what? It means that the actual price is $52 which is the selling price but will give you something less and what is the discount discount is 25 percent of the price so 25 percent means 25 out of 100 right that is 25 percent of means multiplication is 52 so you have to do this calculation to get the discount so let's use the calculator to find it just now 25 times 52 and we divide by 100 to get 13 as our answer right so it should be 13 right now 25 percent is a very simple value to calculate it means one fourth correct so half is 26 and half of 26 is 13. now to find the final price this is the discount so we have to always take away discount right so discount is something which you should take away right so it's kind of we put it in brackets means minus it so you minus this discount of $13 from 52 and then you get your final price. So let's do it. So we go 52 minus 13 equals to 39. This price will be in dollars. Let me write dollars right on the top. Correct. Okay. So that is definitely one way of doing it. We'll talk about shortcut also, which will be our method two, which we'll discuss after solving all of them. Next one here is 20% of concert ticket of $120. So 20% means 20 out of 100. That is what it means. Off will do minus. And this off is the price, 120. So let's calculate. That means one fifth, right? So you know it is one fifth. You could do without calculator, but let's do with calculator, right? And then we'll divide by 100 to get our answer, which is 24. Okay. And now here, final price should be how much? From $120, we have to take away 24. Correct. So if you take away 20, you get 100. Four more means 96. Is that color? Right. Now, 15% of jacket price of $140. 15% means 15 out of 100 times 140 let's do it you could also write 0.15 right so you can write 0 0.15 times 140 right so at least one step is lesser we get 21 now once we get 21 we have to take away from 140 this value of 21 to get our answer so we get 140 minus 21 equals to what 119 so we get a price of 119 does make sense to you correct so we got all this. Now, let us try to see and understand how could we do it direct, right? So, and we'll understand the meaning of discount much better. Now, when I say the discount is 25%, that means how much do you pay? That is what you have to think about. You do not pay 25%, but in this case, you pay 75% of 52 does it make sense you pay 75 percent of 52 since 25 was off you were not paying say 25 is that correct now some of you who are good in fractions could do 75 percent means 3 over 4 times 52 and get your answer right so in a game of cards, four players, when they play, they get 13 each, right? So it is 3 times 13, which is 39. 
right? Well, if calculated is allowed, no problems. 75% means 0.75 times 52. And you get your answer 39. Is that correct? So it is kind of very fast calculation in a multiple choice test paper. So 25% of costing 52 means 0.75 times 52, right? So it is 0 0.75 times 52. You get your answer straight away. So here, when I say 20% of concert means you are paying how much? 80%, right? That means 0 0.8 times 120 isn't that simple this decimal goes away 12 times 8 is 96 you get your answer so sometimes it is kind of faster to work this way i hope you're getting the idea right so to begin with it may be slightly tricky but once you get used to or some practice it will be very fast 15 percent of jacket so you are paying how much you are paying 85%, correct? So you could do 85% means 0 0.85 times 140, correct? This is one way of doing it. I can show you a shorter way also. Let's do this first. 0 0.85, 10, 140. Even with using calculator, it is faster to calculate this way, right? Now, with 15%, 0 0.85 was a very difficult number to work with. We have another way to work out 15%. Think like this. 15% is combination of 10% and 5%. Is it okay? Now, 140 was our number, right? So our number was 140. What is 10% of 140? Let's calculate one by one. What is 10%? Just one decimal has to be moved, right? And 5% is half of 14, which is 7. And when you add them up, I mean, that is a discount. So when you take this away, we get 119. You understand? You have to add these two guys, right? So you get 21. So taking away 21 from 140 is 119. Does it make sense to you? So that is a discount, right? So 21 is a discount, which we got this 21. Do you see that? So whenever there is 15%, you could split into 10 and 5 and think about it. Now these calculations which I am showing on the side are very important since as we move on we'll have to have very difficult questions on person if you know these small tricks they can actually help you to understand better and to perform better in such questions I hope it makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best